Encouraging news is coming from drug company AstraZeneca involving stage four lung cancer. With us now is Dr. Tuaru Agarwal, a specialist in lung, head and neck cancer, here to explain more about that new hope and how prevalent is the problem of lung cancer? Lung cancer is a big problem. Uh, lung cancer is the most common cause of cancer-related deaths, not just in men, but also at women. In fact, more than breast cancer deaths every year. It accounts for more than 200,000 newly diagnosed cases of lung cancer every year. And non-small cell lung cancer is the l l most common cause of lung cancer. It's a subtype of lung cancer. It accounts for about 85% of all lung cancers. So what can I tell you about non-small cell lung cancer? Well, I can tell you a lot, but I think what's most exciting right now is that research, is being able, research has really helped us deliver personalized and precise therapy for patients with non-small cell lung cancer. We now have new data to guide uh, precision medicine for a few sub, for a subset of patients um, that may not even be caused by smoking. What exactly does this new data mean for patients with a specific lung cancer disease? In plain words, it means that uh, lung cancer patients now have a new therapy that can afford a survival benefit. It means that they can avoid cytotoxic chemotherapy. It also means that if I find that particular mutation in a patient, then I can give them a therapy that, that will make them live longer. What advice would you give to patients when they are talking to their physician that is so critical? Biomarker testing is an integral component of uh, treatment of non-small cell lung cancer today. So the advice that I give to my patients is that talk to your doctor about biomarker testing. So what exactly is biomarker testing? It's my way to find out more information about my patient's tumor. I want to know what drives their tumor. What is the genetic profile of their tumor? And I do so by checking either the tumor itself uh, where I would do gene sequencing on the tissue, or I can sometimes do it with the use of a blood test. What do I find when I do biomarker testing? I can find a gene mutation like the EGFR gene mutation, which is actually quite common in never smokers who, who get lung cancer. And if I have that mutation, then I can say to my patient, I don't need to give you chemotherapy. I don't need to give you immunotherapy. Let's start with a pill because that has proven to have an improved outcome in terms of survival. What else can you tell us about this latest advancement? I would say that we are now with the help of research, we are able to really deliver precise, personalized care to almost all of our patients with non-small cell lung cancer. We have begun to really divvy up the pie of non-small cell lung cancer into small pieces. Uh, we know that smoking alone is not a risk factor for lung cancer anymore. In fact, uh, the incidence of lung cancer and never smokers is on the rise. But I will also say that for the first time in a decade, our five-year outcomes for patients with stage four non-small cell lung cancer have dramatically improved. Um, and only bigger and better things to come in the future for our patients with lung cancer. Well, hopefully you helped save some lives today. Happy to have you on the show again. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. For more Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.